Pops, it's Miss Amy, and today we're going to be learning all about fall, foods, and thankfulness. I'm so glad you're joining us today because we have so many fun activities planned. Hi, Lammy. Do you know what holiday we're celebrating this month? Yeah, um, I know. It's my birthday. No, Lammy, it's not your birthday this month. Oh, um, I know, I know, um, it's, it's Easter! No, Lammy, it's not Easter this month either. This month we're celebrating Thanksgiving. Oh, yes, Thanksgiving! Um, I knew that! Yes, Lammy, this month we're celebrating Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving is a holiday where we take time to thank God for all the wonderful things He's given us. We usually celebrate by having a big meal with lots and lots of yummy foods. What do you usually eat on Thanksgiving? I bet you probably have a big turkey. What other things do you have? Let's think what we might eat at our Thanksgiving dinner. Maybe some mashed potatoes, or some sweet potato casserole, maybe some rolls, maybe we have some green beans or corn, and let's not forget about dessert. We probably have a lot of different pies, maybe pumpkin pie, apple pie, or pecan pie. Thanksgiving is a wonderful time to see friends and family and celebrate all the wonderful things that God has given us. I'm so happy that you're joining me today to talk about giving thanks to God. Do you know how to say thank you in sign language? This is how we say thank you in sign language. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We say Thank you when somebody does something nice for us. We say, thank you. Thank you. It's also nice to say please when we want something. To say please in sign language, we say please. Please. Please, can I have some? Please. Can you help me count these pumpkins right here? Let's count these pumpkins together. Let's count the pumpkins together. All right, one, two, three, four, five. That's right, there are five pumpkins. Five pumpkins. Would you like to make a thankful turkey craft with me today? The thankful turkey is to remind us of all the things God has given us that we are thankful for. So I have already cut out my turkey, but if you want to do it at home, you can ask your grown-up for help. Then we're going to cut out all these feathers, and on the feathers we're going to write what we're thankful for. So I have a list right here of all the things I'm thankful for. And we are going to write these on the feathers. So first, I am thankful for God's love. So we're going to write God's love. The next thing I'm thankful for is my family. I love my family and I'm very thankful for them. I'm also thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for my dog. If you have a pet, maybe you can put your pet on your feathers. I'm thankful for yummy food to eat. I'm also thankful that I have a warm bed when I go to sleep. The last thing I'm thankful for is all the beauty that God has made for us to enjoy in the world. All right, now that we have all our feathers made, we are going to tape them onto our turkey. 
Let's get some tape so we can tape the feathers onto our turkey. We're going to tape all the feathers onto our turkey like this. You can turn them over and tape them on at the back. All right, let's put some tape on there to get our feathers on. There we go. All right, our turkey. Oops, <laughs> this one is falling off. There we go. Our turkey has all his feathers. Now we're going to add, we don't need that. We're going to add his beak. And we're going to put some eyes on our turkey. Let's draw some eyes for him. There we go. Turkey has some eyes. And did you know what this is called? This little funny piece that goes on the turkey's neck? This is called the waddle. The waddle. All right, now our turkey is all ready. Now that our turkey's all finished, let's give him a name. I would like a name. All right, turkey, we'll give you a name. I think we should call you Tom. I like that name. All right, Tom the turkey, we're all finished with you. And every time we look at you, we will remember all the things that God has given us to be thankful for. Oh, wow! Did you hear that? That means it's time to get out our teeny tiny Bible because it's time to read our Bible verse for today. Our Bible verse for today is 1 Chronicles 16, 34. Thank the Lord because He is good. His love continues forever. Thank the Lord because He is good. His love continues forever. That is such a great verse because it tells us that we can thank God for everything He's given us and that He will always love us. Wow, Lammy, look at all these beautiful leaves. Oh, I love leaves. God made these leaves so pretty for us. They're like gifts from him. Let's say thank you to God for these beautiful leaves. Thank you, God. Great job, Lammy. What else can we be thankful to God for? Mmm, cookies. Yes, Lammy, cookies are yummy. We can also be thankful to God for friends, family, and his love. Ah, yes. Miss Amy, you're a wonderful friend. Thank you, Lammy. You're my friend, too. Thank you, God, for my friend, Lammy. We can be thankful to God for the world he made and these leaves. They remind us to be happy and thank God for everything. Can you say thank you to God with us? Thank you, God. Great job. We can be thankful for all the good things God gives us. I'm going to start thanking God for all the things I have. That's wonderful, Lammy. God loves it when we say thank you to him. Can you help me find some of the items in our fall photo? Let's look for the items together. Let's see. Do you see a turkey anywhere? Do you see a turkey? That's right! There's the turkey. He's right there by the pond. I see the turkey. He's right by the pond. Thank you for helping me. What else do you see? Hmm, I know. Can you help me find the squirrel? Where is a squirrel? Do you see him? Yes, that's right. He's right up there in the tree. He's hiding up there in the tree. Thank you for helping me find the squirrel. What other fall items do you see in our photo? What about a pumpkin? Do you see a pumpkin anywhere? Where is the pumpkin? That's right, there's the pumpkin right next to the fence. There's the pumpkin right by the fence. What else do we see? Maybe there's a sunflower. 
Can you help me find the sunflower? Where is the sunflower? That's right, there it is, right in those branches and leaves. There is the beautiful sunflower. I think there's one more thing left. Do you see any other fall items in our photo? I'm looking for an acorn. Do you see an acorn anywhere? Do you see an acorn? Yes, there's the acorn. It's down there next to the hay. There's the acorn. I think we found everything in our fall photo. Thank you so much for helping me find everything in our fall photo today. Hi, Miss Amy. I heard we were talking about being thankful to God today. That's right, Pepper. We sure are. But did you know that we can show thankfulness to people as well? Oh, wow. Like when someone gives me a dog treat? Yes, Pepper, you can certainly be thankful for that. Do you know some other ways that we can show our thankfulness? Hmm, let me think about this. I may need some help with this one. Well, we can say thank you to our parents when they cook us dinner, or when someone gives us a gift, or when someone says something nice about us. Oh, I have one. How about when a friend shares their toys with us? Yes, that's a great one. I know, I know. I've got another one. How about when someone rubs my belly or plays fetch with me? Yes, Pepper. Those are both great examples. We can say thank you anytime somebody helps us or does something nice for us. I understand now. I can't wait to start thanking people more. Thank you for teaching me more ways to show thankfulness. You're welcome, Pepper. Acorns falling all around from the trees onto the ground. But where could the squirrels be? Can you look for them with me? God made them a cozy home. They will not be in the cold. Tucked inside a little tree, they'll pop out for us to see. Acorns falling all around from the trees onto the ground. But where could the squirrels be? Can you look for them with me? God made them a cozy home. They will not be in the cold. Tucked inside a little tree, they'll pop out for us to see. Look at all the beautiful colors of leaves right here. Can you help me name the colors of all of these pretty leaves? Let's try and name them together. What color leaves do you see? I see a green leaf. I see a green leaf. This leaf is green. This is a green leaf. Hmm. What is the next color that you see? What is the next color next to the green leaf? That's right, it's a yellow leaf. A yellow leaf. A beautiful yellow leaf. Let's see what color comes next. Is this a blue leaf? No, say that's so silly. That's not a blue leaf. That is not a blue leaf. This leaf is Yes, this leaf is orange. This leaf is orange. What leaf do we have next? What color is next? That's right, it's a red leaf. A beautiful red leaf. A beautiful red leaf. And the last color of the last leaf I see is brown. This is a brown leaf. Did you know at the end of the fall when it starts to get much colder, all the leaves turn brown and they fall down off the trees onto the ground. At the end of the season, the leaves turn brown. Thank you for helping me figure out all the colors of these beautiful leaves. Did you know that in the fall, the weather usually starts to get colder? 
There are lots of things that we can wear in the fall to keep ourselves warm. One of the things we can wear in the fall is a sweater. Sweaters are very warm and they keep us nice and cozy. Another thing we can wear in the fall is a jacket. Jackets keep us a little bit warmer than sweaters and they are perfect for the fall. In some places in the fall, it's already very cold. And then we can wear a coat. Coats are usually big and puffy, and they are the warmest of all. If it's already cold where you live when you go outside, make sure to grab your nice warm coat so you stay warm and toasty all day. Wow, look at all these beautiful leaves. Aren't they so pretty? Did you know that God made the leaves change colors in the fall when they fall off the trees? They look so pretty. We're going to do a fun activity and we're going to put the leaves over here on the correct colors. Would you like to do it with me? All right, here are all our beautiful leaves. What color do you think this leaf goes on? This leaf is yellow. This leaf is yellow. So we're going to put it on the yellow paper. This leaf is red. This leaf is red. We're going to put this leaf on the red paper. What about this one? This leaf is brown. We're going to put this leaf on the brown paper. What else do we have? Oh, this is an orange leaf. This pretty leaf is orange, so we're going to put it on the orange paper. Here is another yellow leaf. This leaf can go on the yellow paper. What color is this leaf? Do you know what color this leaf is? That's right, it's red. A red leaf. The red leaf goes on the, yes, the red paper. What do we have left? We've got this leaf right here. It's a brown leaf. Which color paper does it go on? Does it go on this paper? No, that's silly. Yes, it goes on the brown paper. What color is this leaf? Hmm, it looks like it goes on the orange paper. We have one more leaf. This leaf is yellow. What color paper does this leaf go on? The yellow paper. Which one is the yellow paper? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No, that's silly. Oh, yes, it's this one. Good job. The yellow leaf goes on the yellow paper. Thank you so much for helping me put all the leaves on the right colored paper. You did a wonderful job and that was so much fun. I love looking at all of God's beautiful creations and seeing the wonderful pretty leaves that he has made for us to enjoy. Maybe you can go out in your garden and find some similar leaves that you can play with too. Look at this big pumpkin that I have. Have you seen a lot of big pumpkins around your house? You might have carved one this month, or maybe you have some on your front porch. During the fall, we see lots of pumpkins. Do you know what else we see during the fall time? During fall, we might see some scarecrows or we might see some turkeys, or we might see some sunflowers, or maybe a corn maze. There are lots of different things that we see around the fall time.
would you like to help me make a fall tray? We have a lot of rice and we're going to dig through our rice and see what fall items we can find. Alright, let's dig through our rice and see what things we can find to put on our fall tray. Let's see what we have. Oh, I got something. It's an apple. This apple is green. This apple is green. Apples are a perfect fall fruit. A nice green apple. What else do we have in our rice? Oh, I see something peeking out. It is a pumpkin. A cute little pumpkin. The pumpkin is orange. The pumpkin is orange. You might see pumpkins on people's front porches or you might have one on your front porch. Did you carve a pumpkin this year? You might. Let's see what else. Oh, we've got another pumpkin. Another cute little pumpkin. The pumpkins are orange. Let's put him right there. What else do we have in our rice? Ooh, we've got a pretty leaf. Do you know what color this leaf is? Yes, this leaf is yellow. This is a yellow leaf. A very pretty yellow leaf. What else do we have? Oh, there is an acorn. A tiny little acorn. Do you know who likes to eat acorns? That's right, squirrels. Squirrels like to eat acorns. An acorn is perfect for our fall tray. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, I have a pine cone. A teeny tiny pine cone. Pine cones come off trees. Sometimes you'll find them on the ground. A cute tiny brown pine cone. What else do we have? Oh, here's a cute little squirrel. A cute little squirrel. You'll see lots of squirrels out in the fall gathering their nuts. A cute little squirrel. Let's put him right there. Here we go, little squirrel. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, another leaf. Yes, another leaf. What color is this leaf? That's right, this leaf is red. This is a red leaf. This leaf is red. What else can we find in our tray? Oh, another leaf. So many beautiful fall leaves. And this one is an orange leaf. An orange leaf. All right, little acorn, you already coming out. Here you are, little acorn, another acorn. We'll put him there by our squirrel. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look at this. Do you know what this is? It is a sunflower. A very beautiful sunflower. You might go to some sunflower fields in the fall. Fun sunflowers are beautiful. All right, what else do we have? Oh, look at this. A turkey. We eat a lot of turkey in the fall, don't we? Especially at Thanksgiving. Turkeys are beautiful animals. They have lots of pretty fall colors. We'll put him right there. Do we have anything left in our fall bin? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Another little pine cone. A brown little pine cone. Another pine cone. Let's see if we missed anything in our rice. Oh, we have another sunflower. Another beautiful sunflower. I think that's everything in our rice bin.
Yep, I think we got it all. Look at our beautiful fall tray. Thank you so much for learning and playing with me today. I had such a good time with you. Don't forget to be thankful to God for all the things that He's given you. And you can also be thankful to your parents and your family and anyone who does anything nice for you. You can say thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!